sometimes welcome or welcome back if you've been here before so today i had a different video that i was gonna do but this one that i'm making right now seems more fitting so today we're gonna do some everyday back to school makeup and i feel like hear me out it might be a little bit heavy for some people but i feel like it's pretty light not gonna lie it's a couple of steps that you could probably skip but that's up to you and your own interpretation so yeah that's pretty much what today's video is and let's go ahead and get started I'm trying to give y'all a better view. Bear with me. I got a new ring light, so I know the lighting is better because, hello. But anyways, so we're going to start with our eyebrows. I always start with my eyebrows first because, well, people say that your eyebrows from your face and all that, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, they just take the longest and they're kind of the hardest to get the hang of, in my opinion. So we're going to start with that first. So I don't know about for anyone else, but for me, school is starting soon. I know that school has already started for some people, but I'm in college and I go to Kent State. So my school does start a little bit later than I've heard other people's. And I'm using the LA Girl Brow Pomade to do my eyebrows. I've always used this, to be honest. I've been using it for a really long time. And it's the best one. It's only $4. It's from Target. So to each his own. But yeah. So I know school is just starting for some. And especially if you're like going into high school or like already in high school pretty much. But just getting into the older years. Then I know that that's when you get more into makeup. At least it was for me. So I mean, I'm not going to lie. I used to kind of do a lot for makeup in high school. But I mean... What can I say? Sorry, I skipped the explaining part. So I start my eyebrow by lining the bottom first. I've always done that since I learned how to do makeup. I don't know how to do it any other way. So there's that for you. Then I kind of fill it in, get a little color in it. And then I do a line across the top and pretty much make whatever shape that you think is fitting. I like to kind of smoothen out the arch on this side because the arch on this side is a little, I don't know, it's a little more intense than the arch on the other side. And just ignore this monster on my face. Just showed up today. I don't know what's going on with that. But um. anyways, we're just going to ignore it. But pretty much, I'm going to zoom in for you. But pretty much, you just fill in to the bottom and to the top. I'm using a handheld mirror. That's just easier for me. But I'm trying to show y'all the best view so you can see. And that's pretty much it. And I just fill it in until it looks whichever way I want it to. And you can do the same for your eyebrow. I know that my face looks a little bright. I'm trying to bring down the brightness so it doesn't look as bad. But... I don't know, what can I say? My skin's just glowing, I guess. I honestly haven't done a sit-down video like this in such a long time. I kind of forgot what it's like. But we're done with the rough, like, copy of the eyebrows. And you just have to brush them out. I use this spoolie. I got it from, I think, Ulta. But I had it for a really long time, so don't hold me to that. And that's pretty much it for the eyebrows now we're gonna move on to concealing them to make them look sharp and neat i use three concealers on my face i use these two on my eyebrow this one's from elf and this one's from makeup revolution i know it looks crusty but i just had it a while and then i use this juvia's place one on my actual face because it's a really good color match for me but this one's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so i use it on the bottom of my eyebrows i don't know everybody's different with their eyebrows some people like to use the same kind of shade i like to use a lighter one on the bottom i don't mind it I'm outlining it literally in the camera, so let me get my mirror. <laughs> but pretty much, you just make it look however you desire. Honestly, that's my favorite part about eyebrows. You can literally just make them look however you want them to. Even if they need a little bit of a trim, like mine. <laughs> so there's that underline for you. I am technically a sophomore already. Like when I did classes in the summer, I was sophomore class apparently because i'm graduating early so i've been in college for a little while now and honestly if you're in high school don't stress too much and <laughs> that's all i have to say not saying this is an advice video or anything but like, this is just reminding me that it's like back to school time and i know it's like stressful for some people i don't know it's not that stressful for me because i kind of got the hang of it but You'll get the hang of it too, pretty much. Sorry if the light keeps glaring. Like, I don't know what's going on with that, but... <laughs> and if you hear a lot of background noise, it's because my room's in the basement. I'm trying to move out soon, so just bear with me. But pretty much, I just take the other concealer I showed you and use that one on the top because it's closer to my skin tone. And you don't want to use a really light one on the top because it'll show and it'll look crazy. Now, honestly, the makeup that I'm using is not no fancy high-end. The most high-end thing that I have is this Juvia's Place Concealer in the Sephora powder. 
but that's it everything else is drugstore for my affordable you know besties so i'm pretty much just sharpen up this brow and that's it so these are my eyebrows look like after all the shaping and everything so now i just have to blend out the concealer and i use a brush that's like kind of fluffy let me grab it Hold on. i either use this brush or this brush to blend it out sometimes i use both usually the thicker one on the bottom because it's a little more dense so it blends it out better but that's pretty much it for so after i finish my eyebrows i used to put on my eyelashes next but i realized that i should do my face first because i can set my whole face without getting my eyelashes messed up or anything so first i take this lighter concealer and i put it like this i learned this new concealer technique because you really don't need as much concealer as you think pretty much and that's where i put the lighter one and then i take the juice place one and i basically just fill in the holes honestly it would probably be easier if you just mix the two like if you have like a little mixing tray or something then you can just mix them but i just do this because i don't know it's easier and that's pretty much all the oh, put a little dye right there. that's pretty much all the concealer that i use on my face to be honest and i just wet this brush which is like a foundation brush it's a little bit dirty my makeup brushes are kind of dirty right now but that's not the point spray it i use either water or setting spray either one works most of the time i use water so literally they work the same and i just blend it out i always start with my chin because it's the easiest then I move like this. And I love even getting some compliments on my makeup lately, so I thought this would be a good video to make. Pretty much it. And you always want to blend up, like, up there. <laughs> you always blend it out a little bit on your eyelid, but you just want to make sure it's fully blended out like that. It makes such a difference. Do you see the difference? <laughs> it gives you like an eye lift, like a facelift kind of, which I think is the goal with any type of makeup, in my opinion. So. Sometimes I just blend it around just to make it more even. And I know it looks kind of crazy right now, especially with this ring light, but in person, trust me, it doesn't look this bad. And we're about to set it and just trust the process, pretty much. I like to use all the wet products at once, if that makes sense. And recently, I'm using this, like, it's technically a foundation, but anyways, I use it as my contour. And I only use a very small amount because a little goes a long way with this. So I got this from the beauty supplies. It was like $3 and it's a foundation, so that tells you that. I just put a little bit. Those are the only two places I really put it. And then I just take this brush, which is from Five Below. <laughs> and i use that to blend it out you gotta be careful when you blend this out because if you blend it too low then your cheeks will look droopy 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 and if you blend it too high it'll just look uneven like i don't know yeah, you gotta be careful when you blend this if i were to just start doing makeup though i would just honestly stick to a powder I feel like cream contour i guess is more so if you have a little bit more practice with makeup but if you prefer cream contour then hey that's just me because i know for some people it's easier for them to do cream contour so i just blend it like this today is kind of a really busy day i have a lot to do today so there we go blend that out and now after that i usually take my elf putty blush this blush is so freaking good like once i found it there's no going back don't get me wrong sometimes i use a powder br blush but usually i use this one and i take this also kind of dense brush i feel like dense brushes are just better they work better for more wet products i put a layer of this at first but i'm gonna set my face and it's kind of gonna look like everything went away but then we'll do another layer and it'll look better there's that so now that i finished all of that i'm gonna go on to the powder i use a sephora brand powder i use it in translucent I just put it in the lid and I take a sponge. This sponge is dry because I didn't use it to blend out my face or anything. If I were to use it to do my concealer, I would use it wet. But for powder, I personally feel like it doesn't make a difference. So I start right under my eye. And then I proceed down my whole cheek, to be honest. <laughs> and do the same thing on the other side. I don't really think that your makeup routine has to be super detailed and crazy for it to come out nice. So... That's why this is pretty quick and easy, to be honest. And I just pat that in, honestly. Pat that in for, wow, it looks better already. And then I take a little bit more and do the spots I missed. And I usually also do under my eyebrow, like right here. Makes a difference, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. And then I take a brush, like a full face powder brush. 
I just wipe all of that off, wipe off all the extra. And then I go back in with powder under my eye. Just a little bit though, because I just put it right in like the corner here under my eye. And I just let that sit for like one minute. I don't bake or anything, but I do let it sit for like one minute. Because that part, you want to be very bright. And while that's sitting, this is kind of fast paced because honestly, most of the time I'm in a rush, so... While that's sitting, I go back in with the same e.l.f. blush that I had on and just go put more on because, like I said before, it kind of blends away when you set it with powder because I put the powder all over my face. You just add it back, pretty much. <laughs> and then, after that... Wipe off the extra. Bam, you're pretty much done with your face. <laughs> so I set my face a few times, usually twice or three times. So since I'm done with the whole like base layer, I'll set it. And I use this Makeup Revolution Matte Fix Setting Spray. I guess it's matte, paint it off. Personally, I feel like it's a little bit dewy when it dries, but I just take my sponge actually and just pat it in. I learned that when you pat in the first layer, I don't remember where I learned it from, probably TikTok, not gonna lie. Somebody on there, I don't know who, but you pat in the first layer and pretty much sets a lot better. So you just pat that layer in and then I'm taking this highlight. I'm using the Wet n Wild one. Most of the time, I'm not going to lie, I use my Fenty one, but I'm not using that today because I just don't think it's necessary. And I take this small brush to put it in my inner corner. And then I also just use the same small brush and put a little bit on my cheek. Because I only put a little bit on my cheek, the brush doesn't honestly matter that much. And I can just blend the rest out with my finger. You see? I just put a little, very little bit on my cheek. I used to be very highlighter crazy, but that's very like 2016 now, so I don't get highlighter crazy anymore. It's more of a blush craze thing right now. And sometimes I'll clean up my face a little bit and just take a little bit more powder. Sorry, I kind of just looked everywhere. Take a little bit more powder and do my jawline but i'm not gonna lie i don't do that all the time but sometimes it just makes it look a little bit more clean so after i do all of that and i wiped off that extra powder that i put on i set my face again with the same setting spray i usually my makeup lasts all day not gonna lie probably because i said it twice and i just fan that one i press it a little bit with this one but not a lot to be honest i just press it so it doesn't look so shiny which is usually just right you have to press it really light because if you press it too much then you'll start getting some patchiness we don't want that but i think you only get patchiness because it's wet so now my skin looks super smooth my makeup looks super smooth and that is the main base layer now all that's left to be honest is for me to put on my eyelashes and i start with this telescopic mascara i don't put a lot I just put like one little thin layer just because if you don't put a layer of mascara, sometimes you can tell. And nobody wants to see that. A little light layer. And then I use my sister's eyelash glue that she used to sell for her brand. Looks like this. Honestly, the duo glue is good too. That's the only other one I could really recommend. Because I don't think she sells this one anymore, but she might. But I just take the brush, because it's a line one. Take it across my eyelid. Right after. And I take it right across the lash line. Some of it will get on the eyelash a little bit. I just kind of pulled that off with my finger. I'm not even going to lie. And then I just fan that a little bit. And I'll put the eyelash on right after. Well, I'll wait like 20 more seconds. And then I'll put the eyelash on. These are the eyelashes I'm using today. Can you see them? Kind of. Anyway, they're from the Supply Store. Luxury mink. They were like $6. But these are really good. These are the only ones I really get from the Beauty Supply Store, to be honest. I definitely recommend. I think this is the right one this is the one for this eye and i usually use my hand or tweezers either one to be honest work sometimes the hand is easier so it's easier today that's why i used it but i have like these lash type tweezers that look like this shape and i definitely use these to squeeze it together with my real eyelashes pro tip right here Another pro tip that a lot of people won't tell you <laughs> is to kind of take the skin on top and push it like that. Makes your eyelashes blend into your regular eyelashes a lot better. And now we are done with our face. This is how she's looking. Really smooth, really subtle, and I think really simple. So 
I hope that this helps somebody. Now, honestly, I wasn't going to do this, but I just thought to add in my lip color combo. I'm not going to lie, it differs every day. But today I'm going with this first ColourPop brown lipstick. This is kind of old, I'm not going to lie. But any brown lipstick or lip liner you use, it'll work. But I've recently been doing it like this. Just putting it on the sides, on the top and the bottom. I blend it out a little bit, blend it in. And then after that, I take a nude lipstick. This one is newer. It's from Sephora. They have like the little lip stories type of lipstick. I don't know. This one's very nude. And I just put this one in the middle. Tap it in. These are really good, by the way. If you're like a lipstick wearer type of person, these are really good. They're very cheap. I don't really shop at Sephora that much, to be honest, because... I'm not gonna lie, it's not a lot of stuff there for black people similarly. That's just my opinion. Listen, I don't I don't know. It could be, but from the times I've went, it hasn't been that good of pickings. But I just try to blend that out for the most part. And then I go in with any lip gloss. This one is like a nude color, so it makes it perfectly match this lip combo. It kind of blends it in better, makes the nude lipstick a little bit less intense. Everything is really glossy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember where this is from, but my girlfriend definitely gave it to me. It's from someone in her family, I think it's like brand. I will try to find out and link it in this video. But that's it for the lip combo. And now we're done with our whole face. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you like this video, like this makeup, cause I feel really cute. And try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching. If you want to support, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.